Katy Perry Tapes. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. You'll be familiar, and you ought to be if you've been watching my videos, that this one's wife attended in Las Vegas without her children, flying there in a private jet for the purposes of watching one of the residency performances, perhaps even the last one, of Katy Perry. This one's wife's nasty and compartmentalised, enabling her to go and watch that, notwithstanding the fact that Katy Perry is someone who had criticised this one's wife's wedding dress, to which this one's wife would not have reacted favourably. The appearance was actually filmed. The venue doesn't look a particularly exciting one, but there we are. But it served its purposes in order to enable this one's wife to travel there in a private jet, get noticed, get noticed on the runway with back grid in attendance, so that she can, of course, as always, pursue the prime aims. It backfired, of course, with plenty of criticism being lobbed her way, as is usually the case. But the little piece of footage that was filmed showing her entering the auditorium with Misha Nunu and the Prince of Pink Pancakes has emerged and done the rounds on the internet. If you're not familiar with the piece of footage, I'm going to play it for you now. Other little shaky in places, you can clearly see Misha Nunu being followed by this one's wife and Harry bringing up the rear as they then enter their seats. Largely, people don't pay much attention to them, which is unsurprising since the people there are to watch Katy Perry and aren't necessarily going to be interested in the trio. Indeed, I suspect many wouldn't even recognise Misha Nunu, not that she would necessarily be too concerned about that. Of course, this one's wife wants to be recognised. She's important. She needs to be seen as the centre of the universe. And it would be a disappointment for her that not everybody immediately started applauding her as soon as she entered the auditorium. Harry, he just wants a quiet night out. And he's been dragged along like he was at the Beyonce concert. I don't suppose he's a huge Katy Perry fan, but he's been told to attend an attendee must as part of the management of the facade of them having the idyllic marriage still, and thus he roped along as well. You'll see that at some point there's something that needed to be discussed which could potentially have generated some alarm amongst the trio. From this footage you wouldn't know what it was, but you're in for a treat, valuable viewers. As a consequence of the extensive reach of the Ultra, I was able to access an audio recording from somebody's telephone who was sat just behind them, which enables you to hear what was being said by Misha Nunu, this one's wife, and the Prince of Pink Pancakes as they made their way to their seats and then sat down. It's fascinating insight into what actually goes on enables you to understand more about the narcissism of Harry's wife as she interacts with the non-intimate secondary source, which is Misha Nunu, and the intimate partner primary source in sustained devaluation, which is Harry. I've made available this recording for you, which I've now overlaid with the original video footage so you can combine the two and be treated to a detailed understanding of what actually occurred. Here it comes. Okay, yeah, so, Katie's people said backstage was all backed up, but we got these seats instead. Oh, amazeballs. They're padded. And yeah, you can see the stage. Shut up, Ginge. Thanks, Misha. Does Katie come to us to sing? 
Uh, no, she sings from the stage. Oh, Harry said she'd sing dank holes up close and personal. Oh, did I? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I did, big saws. Yeah, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's okay, girls. Relax. Omid's just shed a face. Oh, thank God. I thought I'd lost my nose.